In this video tutorial, you will learn how to administer the SAGE Summative Test at the end of the year. The first thing you'll need to do is to go to the SAGE portal, and the website is sageportal.org. On that website, you'll click on the Teacher and Test Administrator button. On the Test Administration website, you'll click on the SAGE Test Administration button, but you'll notice that it's currently closed because the testing window doesn't open till April. You'll need to log in using the username and password you previously set up, and if you forget your password, just click on the red Forgot Your Password link, and then log in. On the testing website, you'll choose the test that you need to give. For example, if you're an elementary teacher giving a language arts test, you might want to choose the writing test today to give the writing portion of the test for grades 3 to 5. If you're a middle school teacher, you'll scroll through the list of tests and find the writing test for grades 6 to 8, or choose whatever test it is that you're giving. And then click Start Session. Once you start the session, you will be prompted with a session ID. This session ID should be written on the board so that students can easily see what to enter into their test login window. When the students sit down to take the SAGE test, they will be prompted to put in their first name, their SSID number, and the session ID that the teacher has provided. In this case, as written on the board, it is M-U-R-P-5. Then the students choose sign in. As students log in, you will notice that they are on a screen waiting for your approval. You'll click on the Approvals button in the right-hand corner of your screen to see a list of the students that are in your class. Keep refreshing this list until all of your students show up, and you can click Approve All Students so that they can begin taking this test. And then click Yes again to verify that they can go ahead and begin. You will see test instructions and any help information that the teacher will go through based off of what the test administration manual says. When prompted by the teacher, the student may choose begin test now. They can now begin the test. If a student needs to leave the test or if the class period comes to a close and students are not completed, you can click pause to pause their tests and they can resume on another day. As students complete the test, your screen will indicate which students need more time to finish their test and which students are completed. After everyone is done or when you're done for the day, you'll click stop session to end the session for that testing period. When you click stop session, click OK, and those students will be logged out.